All right, so let's talk about um, increasing and decreasing on this graph that I just did the positive and negative with. So again, I like to come ahead here and see. Now increasing means that the Y values are going bigger. So I'm gonna go plus, 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 plus. And then it turns around right here and it goes minus, 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 minus. And then it turns around again right here and goes plus, 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 all the way up through there. All right. Now you have to be careful because the pluses and the minuses could be confused with positive and negative. So I, you know, I'm really careful when I do this stuff just to pay attention to because some of those pluses are in negative territory in terms of that. But it's a different question. It's a different question. Um, and I don't use pluses and minuses in terms of um, positive and negative on the graph. I use highlighting. So where is G increasing? Well, it's G increasing starting at negative four up to two. And again, when we do increasing and decreasing, we can use brackets. I'm not really going to hit anybody um, for points if you use parentheses on this specific one. All right. And then from four over to eight, it's also increasing. Where is it decreasing? It's only decreasing in one section of this graph, and it's from two to four. All right, two to four is where it's decreasing.